let's get this sausage party started. Today we're gonna to be having our second annual sausage party. So what that means is it's just a joke. If you guys get it, that's great, but it's just a joke. We're processing some of the duck and goose meat that we have left over from the season. Ideally, we would have done it this past spring, but it just didn't work out. And so things, things worked out to where we can do it right now. So we're making jerky and jerky sticks today. I don't know if we're gonna get much more adventurous than that. This is gonna be a long, fun day of grinding and slicing and making meats, so let's get after it. Seven pounds. It's like a baby. It's a lot of meat. Seven pounds. Perfectly sliced fowl. So for the jerky, we've got a box of seasonings. I got this for Christmas and I still haven't had a chance to use it, so it's a good day. So I've got Cajun, cracked pepper and garlic, hickory, mesquite, and then original for jerky seasonings. And then we're also gonna be using this, I believe, for the jerky sticks, unless Blake finds something else that he likes at the store. But I think I wanna do the Cajun. What do you guys think? Cajun, you can't ever go wrong with Cajun. No. But we could also do, that's like six pounds of meat. That's a lot of meat. Seven pounds of jerky. Seven pounds of jerky meat. Minus a feather. Minus a feather. <laughs> oh, down to six and a half. We got the cure, we got the seasoning, we got seven pounds of meat. We'll cure it and season it and let it sit and then we'll start dehydrating later on today. We got all the meat for jerky sliced up. I think we're doing like eight pounds of jerky. And we've set aside all the meat for right now. We got it all weighed and ready to go and start slicing and grinding. But we need to go make a trip and go pick up some pork butts. So we've got 22 pounds of meat that we're working with, so we need 22 pounds of pork to mix it half and half. Why don't we just bring the sticks all over here and just throw them in there? That'd be all right. I'd be okay with that. Jerky is in the fridge. It's ready to just sit and cure and marinate and whatever it's doing for 12 hours. It says on the box 24, but we just don't have that kind of time. So what the plan is, we'll dehydrate whatever fits on the dehydrators and save the rest and do that later when we go back to home. So John's got the pork butts. He's cutting them up. We're going to get those grinding and then we'll be grinding the duck and goose meat and then we'll mix it together with the seasonings and case it and make jerky sticks. So we got the seasonings that we're gonna be using. We've got pepper blend, and then we've got hickory blend. So we're gonna do 20 pounds of pepper and 20 pounds of the hickory. We're gonna mix all the meat together, mix in the seasoning. We're gonna run it through the grinder one more time and really mix it up good with the smaller bit, or whatever, what do you call it? Plate. Plate, we're gonna use a smaller plate than we used initially to grind it. So it's gonna mix it up better, make it a little smaller chunks of meat, and then we'll take it to the stuffer and stuff them. So this is when the fun really starts.
now it's time for the fun part. We got the grinding and the mixing all done. We're loading the stuffer right now. And then we'll be putting the casings on and making the sticks. Probably the most fun part of the day. This part. This part, this part's pretty fun. This is when you actually get to see something for real. You get to see the products of your labor. So we've got 20 pounds of meat right here, flavored with the pepper sticks. So once we get this done, we'll throw it on the smoker and then start the hickory. We got all the pepper sticks done. That's 20 pounds of sticks right there. How you feeling? You tired? I'm tired. Yeah, you weren't one, you weren't the one cranking that thing. We only have 22 more pounds to go. That's it. And then we'll have it. That's, That's it. all. Yep, let's go fire up the grill. So what we did, stacked a bunch of wood chips in this little smoker part of the grill. We'll lay out the sticks on there. I think I got two rolls. It's a lot of meat. That's a grill full right there, bro. That is a grill full. There we go. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's hope it works. <laughs> All this extra off to the side here. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger grill. At this point, all of the meat has been processed and it's just time to smoke. So, jerky, we're gonna put on the dehydrator later on tonight. We've got one batch of sticks from the grill, it's off. And so this grill's got one of these little smoker deals here in the corner. So you put wood chips in there and it'll smoke them. So, things, things are looking pretty good. It's just going to be a time consuming process at this point because we've made so many sticks and the grill can only hold so many. So we'll just keep an eye on these. Once they hit 160 degrees, we'll take them off, put a new batch on and just keep going through that. But this will be good. I'm really excited. I, the sticks that we made last year were absolute fire. They were so good. And I'm just really looking forward to being able to munch on these things again. So it's a great way to process meat. If you guys have the time and the resources, I would recommend trying it yourself. I don't like those at all. You what? The duck and goose meat, it, was, it seems like it was sliced too thin or it was on the dehydrator too long. Day two of the sausage party and we've got the sticks all done here. Well, actually we got the pepper sticks done yesterday. We're working on the hickory ones right now. So we got 20 pounds of these jerky sticks. They look pretty good and they taste really good. So now all that's left to do is just bag them up, vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer. That's a wrap for this sausage party that we just had. It's, it was about a day and a half of work. We took our time doing it. We could have rushed through and like really hammered it out yesterday if we like got up early and just did it all day long. But um, I'm happy with the way things turned out. We've got 
jerky that we made. Here's the hickory kind, they're pretty good. And then the pepper sticks. The pepper sticks I personally think are better than the hickory. What do you think, John? The pepper is definitely better. The pepper is definitely better than the hickory. So that's pretty much it. Sausage party's done. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this go down. So guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me process this meat with John and Blake. It was pretty fun. I remember last year when we did it, we didn't want to see a piece of meat after it, but I think the way we did it this year was a lot better. We survived and we, we actually ate it when it came off the grill. So we weren't disgusted when we saw it. Go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already and stay up to date with all the videos that are gonna be coming out. Hunting season's coming up, so it's gonna get pretty exciting here pretty soon. Follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Go ahead and follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.